So a lot of you guys are probably wondering what my bank actually looks like. Being a max level three and all, having four 200 mil skills, 1.2 billion XP gained on the account in total. A lot of you guys are probably gonna ask the question what my bank looks like. So we're gonna go ahead, dive into what that looks like today before any of you guys actually ask and I'll go ahead and walk you through what I have in there. So here we are in the first tab of my bank. As you guys can see, we have a total net worth of 1.68 billion. I'm really not comfortable usually telling people about that. I try to keep that a secret whenever I stream or on any sort of videos, but I figured for the purposes of this video, you guys could actually see where we are and what we do. And before, you know, I kind of really get into all the tabs that we have here. I do just want to caveat this with, yes, guys, we do play alts. This account isn't fully funded by my level three. So with all the XP that I've gotten, I play multiple alts at a time, whether that be one, two, three or four alts all at the same time while I'm playing on this account. So we have done other methods like training up skills and rune dragons, as you guys know from my series, the one bill rune dragon tab. We do fund this account with alts. We've also made money from our 200 mils, right? 200 mil farm making, 200 mil smithing, 200 mil thieving, and obviously 200 mil herb war did cost us a lot of money. But let's go ahead and walk through the initial tab. So first tab we have here, kind of the tab of junk, if I'm honest with you. This is the one that is not entirely organized. You see, we have a large chunk of cash there. We'll be coming out with a video very soon on what that's going to be, and I'll probably touch upon that later on in this video on one of the tabs. You guys can probably tell towards the end. So what we have here, we have a large chunk of cash. Uh, the other thing that you guys probably notice is why do you have so many wooden shields? So what we actually did, because my whole kind of branding and everything for my stream is revolved around this little knight that I have as an emo. We've actually collected wooden shields as a stream. So I have 27 of the gilded ones and 68,423 of the normal wooden shields, which is actually pretty cool. So it's a collection that will always be on my account regardless of whatever's going on i will never sell it i will never touch it i actually use the wooden shield when i do go to zaya to do some rune crafting although it is a bit heavy so it does make me run out of run energy but another thing that stands out here is the marks of grace i actually have not sold those so we have 3234 marks of grace and as mentioned guys this is, this is just basically full of junk so we have a spot in our bank here for pagasian boots i don't know why i even have that on a level three this has been a tab that I don't really touch. It sits here like this. We have way too many infernal axes as well because for whatever reason, I decided to make five of them. I didn't realize at the time that you could just recharge them with a normal axe. What I did instead is I made all the individual ones with smoldering stones and axes on their own. And uh, yeah, that wasn't really my brightest moment. So first tab, not really too much to it, guys, as you can tell. Um, but you know, there are a couple odds and ends. This thing is really cool. The RuneFest shield from a couple years ago. I actually really do enjoy that as well. But yeah, a lot of junk in the first tab. Not really a big fan of it, but uh, we'll get more organized as we go through. So moving on to tab number one, I guess that's really, you know, tab zero. Uh, that's kind of the view all items. This is my tab number one. This is all my skill capes in some of my fashion capes. So as you guys can tell, we have all of our skill capes in order, except for the construction cape and the farming cape. And there is actually reasons for that. And we'll get into that in a little bit in the video here. But we have all of our skill capes in order. As you guys knew from our skills, we are 99 in everything non-combat, excluding Slayer. Uh, we have our Enlightened Journey bomber cap here and bomber jacket. Uh, we have a couple leather boots, not really sure why. We have our full graceful set. We actually haven't gone and got any of the colors yet. Uh, we just have the normal default graceful. Uh, we did actually get a halo. We have the Ceridoman halo in here. I believe I have the Zamorak and the Guthix one unlocked as well. I just actually haven't gone and unlocked that. What I did, I actually retrieved the halo before they changed around Castle Wars. So I actually have all three unlocked for myself. We have a couple banners that we usually rock during Fashionscape. We have a regen bracelet to use during Winter Todd. Um, I actually put that on there a long time ago, um, but I have not actually used it quite recently. And then we have a blacksmith helm because I thought it was very cool fashion scape and our rogue outfit as well. That is one of the only skilling outfits we can get. Actually, I think we can get every skilling outfit except for the lumberjack outfit. So, um, but yeah, moving on to the next tab, we have our MLM tab. This is a tab that I have actually not touched in a very, very, very long time. So it's 40 mil. What we do anytime we do mother load mine, we actually just deposit all of our ores into this tab. We also have amethyst in here. I did kind of explore doing amethyst for a bit. 898 amethyst, which actually isn't really too bad. We have over 1300 nuggets. We already have every single unlock. We have full prospectors, as you can see there on the left. We also have the um, seven deposits. So we have 
the larger stack there at MLM. And we have anything that you could possibly want. We have the upper level unlocked as well. We do not have, well, we do have the gem bag, but we do not have the coal bag. So I use the gem bag in my inventory as well as the dragon pick because typically the way you do MLM is do 26 and you just, that allows you to have seven different deposits. So it makes it a bit more AFK and usually I can get around 50K XP an hour in MLM, which is pretty good. So we are over a thousand runite ores, which is awesome. Um, almost at 10,000 adamant. A little over 13,000 for our mithril, 12,000 gold, and 12,000 coal. So that tab will pretty much sit until I get very high mining. I have no reason to sell it today. What I would really like to do is actually take a nice screenshot or make a video for you guys if 200 mil mining ever becomes a thing. Will it ever become a thing? I don't really know. Will I be doing it this way? Will I be doing 3 tick 4G? Will I be doing blast mine? I really don't know. With blast mining, all of the ores would also go into this tab as well. So we'd kind of keep a consolidated tab of all of our ores. So moving on to tab number three, this is our fishing tab or our makeshift fishing tab. We fished a couple minnows, so we have a few left over after we treated them into sharks. But one of the coolest things we see here is my feather stack, 18 million feathers which i use for both fishing so i do fly fishing with trout and salmon there recently has been a method discovered on zaya for two tick fishing so i may kind of explore that with the dragon harpoon so right now we have feathers for fly fishing i don't know if that's the way i'm going to go up to 200 mil but we'll kind of discuss that in later videos and i say this guys because i have a lot of video ideas and i really want to put them out and i think you know each one of them actually warrants their own topic of discussion i'd really like to hear back from you guys so but yeah, this is what the fishing tab looks like. We did manage to get the angler hat uh, and the outfit as a whole. So the angler hat, the top, the boots, as well as the waders. So really happy with that. I do have all the skilling outfits unlocked that I can, um, except for the lumberjack. So that's kind of a cool accomplishment on the account as well. So moving on to the next tab, tab number four. These are all my holiday events. So as you can see, the top row is aligned with party hats. Uh, we have the mixed one. We have all the normal ones. It's kind of crazy to see, you know, thinking back, to when I played this game in 2012, uh, or even earlier than that, I think like when the original came out in 2007, it's just really wild to just have party hats, Santa's masks. These were such rare items back in the day. And, you know, anybody who had these, you kind of knew they knew what they were doing. They had a lot of money. You always asked them what they did, whether they merged, whether they, you know, there was a lot of things to be done in the game back then. And there wasn't as much content being produced. So people really didn't know how to make money. It was kind of a nice time because you didn't have to feel any pressure of being efficient or anything like that. But having party hats in my bank like this is kind of a wild thing uh, when I really do think about it. But this is just really consisting of all the holiday events. We do have a couple um, things that we have purchased in here. So the crier hat and the crier coat. I really do enjoy those. We have some villager sandals. Uh, we actually have a name of it, a fury for fashion scape. I didn't actually realize we had that in here. So kind of a bit of a GP in there as well. So yeah, we have a bit, you know, always got to rock the gnome goggles. The thieving bag is a very cool item as well. And of course the cat ears. So kind of a bit of a fashion scape tab but although you guys just pretty much see me in my farming outfit my farming cape and then i'll alternate my left and my right hand uh depending on what i actually put in there i'm not very good at fashion scape i'd love to maybe make a video on that or actually get some feedback from you guys as to what you would kind of deem level three fashion scape I don't really care how I look. I really just grind for XP. And I know that sounds really, really, really nerdy, but that's just kind of what I do. So moving on to the next tab, we have our makeshift hunter tab. There's really not much to see in here. You see some black chinchampa, some red chinchampas. I actually have not touched this tab in quite a very long time. Uh, the last thing that I've been doing for Hunter is actually herbivore in order to get all the Slayer XP off of Fossil Island. I also really do want to go ahead and hunt that pet. So I do want to hunt Herbie. So we actually have not touched Hunter at all. This kind of tab is just kind of existing per se, um, and we're not really touching it, but it is a tab that I do have in my bank. So moving on to the Pestle and Mortar tab, which consists of a bunch of herbs that we have, as well, we actually have a ton of ruby necklaces and enchant, and that is because the dig site pendant. But the good thing about the dig site pendant is that we actually now have that installed in our house, so I can probably actually sell both of these off and make a little bit of money back, which is a really good idea now that I'm thinking about it. So the other thing that kind of seems out of place, and it most certainly is out of place, is our stack of darts. So we've been actually doing darts on both farming runs, and you can do darts during things like Winter Todd, or just kind of anything you want to do. I've actually been thinking about taking darts to Zaya more recently, so anytime I'm running to and from the altar, I can actually do darts. We have a ton of cactus seeds in here as well. This is when we actually were planting cactuses. They're not really worth it now. I just really stick to trees. 
Um, but yeah, we have a ton of seeds that we haven't sold off. A couple herbs that are uncleaned here, just all grimy. And then we're actually doing a Hespori seed collection all the way up to 200 mil farming, which is kind of really fun uh, and really cool. Unfortunately, I cannot use them as a level three. Um, I mean, maybe I could. I actually don't know the mechanics of the game, but I don't believe I can use them. And even if I did, I would just absolutely get crushed by that boss. So we kind of keep them in here as a fun collection item uh, just to see how many I can get all the way up there. And spirit seeds, actually, we can plant them, I believe, but we can't use them. So this is my collection from Winter Todd. There's 53 spirit seeds in here as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to tab number seven. So tab number seven was a Winter Todd tab, I believe at some point, but I actually sold that entire tab off once I got 200 mil in order to get a bit more money. So the only thing we really have in here, guys, is our Pyromancer outfit. Uh, we have a ton of stamina potions, which I'm, I'm honestly not sure why we have those. Uh, we have a couple redwood logs. We also have some Yanillion seeds. I was actually going to try doing some birdhouse runs on my level three, but they ended up really not being worth it. So really, really, really good on most accounts, especially if you're looking for very easy ways to make money, and especially if you're an Iron Man. But yeah, so we were going to try birdhouse runs. I just really can't be asked to leave every 45 minutes to go do a birdhouse run. Um, to me, it's personally not worth it. But if you guys want to do those, they're definitely very good money. You get a lot of nests, a lot of seeds, and they actually used to be much better um, but unfortunately they did get uh, a bit nerfed by jagex so the other thing we have down here is all of our fossils we have small medium large and then we have a rare fossil so that was as i mentioned in the hunter tab we actually went to go and hunt irby we're going to continue to do that we're going to be able to trade all of that in for a massive amount of slayer xp and i'm very excited to do that i will eventually do that right now i'm kind of focusing on a bit of xp i'm a bit lost but we're going to talk about that as well in another video i know i keep saying another video but once again guys the ideas are being generated and I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead. We're actually going to move to the last tab instead of tab eight. We're going to talk about tab eight last. So as you can see by the last tab, here is a beautiful tab. It's very blank. Uh, we actually have bank fillers in here. Now, a lot of people ask, ask me how to actually get bank fillers in. I'll just go ahead and show you guys during this video. So what you want to do is click on your show menu and you actually want to click fill. So you can either fill your bank with 1, 10, 50 X. So you can type in, you know, 62, 78, 73, whatever you want to do, or you can do all. What this does is if you actually withdraw an item into your inventory and try to deposit it and the bank has no space for it, it'll just keep it in your inventory. It's very useful for things like MLM, or we'll say when you're crafting um, and you have a needle and you have, um, I think thread. And then what you can do is actually remove those, fill your bank up. So every time that you deposit all, the only thing that will go in there is actually your finished D hides or battle staves. Uh, I guess you wouldn't be doing battle staves um, with thread and needle, but if all your bodies go in there or whatever you or whatever you're crafting, even during mining when you keep your pickaxe out, um, if you have to use it in your inventory like myself or you have anything in your inventory you never want to deposit, uh, it's a great way to actually do this. So the way you can show this here is if I would draw this teak log and I hit release teak log. Um, I'll go ahead and fill up my bank here and if I try to deposit it, it will give me this error that the bank cannot hold your item. So it will just stay in your inventory. It's extremely helpful when doing certain skills um, and actually through streaming and everything like that, a lot of people don't know about it. So um, I just figured I would go ahead and show you guys um, kind of a little quick tip tutorial right in the middle of our video. So you guys are probably asking, why do you have so many of these items in this tab? So let me walk you through this. So Currently on the account, we have four different pets. We have the Tango Root, which I was extremely lucky to get. I think we got that around 24 and a half million XP. We have the Pet Heron, which is the one pet that I've gotten pre-99. I think we got this at 93 fishing. We have Rocky the Raccoon, which we actually got around 24 uh, million thieving as well. We are now 200 mil, so very thankful to get that out of the way. And we have the Woodcutting Pet, which is the Beaver, and we got him around 50 or 60 million XP. I think it was a little above 50. So uh, right now we stand at about 72 to 73 million XP in Woodcutting. We still have not received another pet. So Kind of very lucky to get those. I know some people actually get a very good amount of them before uh, they actually reach, you know, either 99 or whatever their goal and XP would be. But currently four out of, I believe, the nine skilling pets. So I will be going after those at some point. We actually had a series on the YouTube channel called Making the Zoo. And I think a lot of you guys actually really enjoyed that. The unfortunate part is I really haven't been going for those pets. So maybe one day we will kind of, um, you know, kind of get lost in our XP and actually go for those pets and see what we can do and bring that series back. So the next thing I wanted to highlight is the 869,000 magic potions. Why do I have all these in my bank? Well, 
that's how many potions it took me to actually get up to 200 mil herbore from wherever I had started. I think it was, I don't know if I started directly from 13 mil or 40 mil or, or what have you. Um, I actually don't know when I started from. So 869,000 magic potions. I have not touched those whatsoever. They're going to be staying in the bank until further notice. I could sell them for a bit of GP to actually help me fund some other skills, but for the time being, I'm not really struggling on GP, so I'm just going to keep them in there. It's a really cool thing. Most people will never have that amount of any item in their bank, so just to actually have those is really, really, really cool. So next thing you kind of see here, which is completely out of place, is our anglerfish. I just keep these in the bank for AFK cooking. We're currently going for 200 mil cooking. That is one of our goals that we have. So if I don't ever want to do wines or don't want to do the 14, 14 banks, standing i will actually go to rogues den or the cooking guild and i will sit there and i'll just afk anglerfish it's better to get some xp in my opinion than zero xp so that's what we actually do with those i just buy and sell those as needed and they just come and go from the bank so next thing we have is our wine stack both our jug of water and our grapes 589,000 of them this will actually get me well over 200 mil xp we did buy the allotted amount but we have since done anglerfish. So this is actually cutting into a bit of our XP. So we have completed 203,000 of them. This number is probably more around 570,000, 560,000, I would assume. So we can sell off some of those wines. I just actually haven't done any of the calculations. What I'm planning on doing since they are so cheap to hold is probably just doing those calculations at the end. And when I actually get closer to that 200 mil, we'll just calculate what we need and sell off the rest. So moving into the final tab that I want to talk about with you, with you guys is the farming tab. So this is my favorite tab of my bank. This is my, this is my bread and butter. This is exactly, I love this tab. This is my favorite tab. This is the one that you guys should have been waiting for because this thing is absolutely beautiful. So as you guys can see here, it is our most expensive tab. I believe we have 473 million GP worth of farming equipment in here. Now, obviously I have a bigger cash stack, so that tab is technically bigger, but uh, in terms of farming and supplies, this is 100% our biggest tab. So I will be making a video on this tab and what is to come and what are the goals. And I would really, really, really like to kind of show this off and kind of show you guys exactly what this is. So we have banked, I'm not entirely sure. I think we have about 200 or 150 more days of farming to buy until we actually hit 200 mil farming experience. So obviously we have a lot more days to farm. I think it's somewhere around 380, 375 more days. So we will be getting this next year. I do a morning farm run and an afternoon farm run or an evening farm run. I only do two a day. You can do three a day if you do want to wake up in the middle of the night and actually get that accomplished. But we only stick to two a day. It's perfectly fine for me. And I think I spend a total of maybe 10 to 15 minutes farming a day. So I've really gotten it down to a science and I'm very, very, very happy about that. So walking through this tab, we have almost 1,500 magic saplings, 1,451, 611 dragon fruit. We have 438 mahogany, 140 celastrius, 747 calquats. I completely overbought on the calquats, but we have enough to ride our wave till 200 mil. And then we have 151 redwood saplings. So for the most part, what I have done is actually put all of their payments right underneath here. Obviously the papayas do not pay for the dragon fruit. That is actually paid for by the coconuts, which is why coconuts, except for these Yanillion hops, have a significantly more amount of supplies. These are all payments so that my trees don't actually die. I'm spending a lot of money on these trees. Uh, so paying is completely fine with me, and that's what I will continue to do. So I did mention that my construction and my farming cape were actually not in here. I did fail to mention that my crafting cape is actually not in here as well. Just the hood is. So um, I have these three capes in here for teleport reasons. I take my construction cape with me all the time when I go on farming runs. I actually wear my farming cape typically. So if I need to teleport to the farming guild where I actually am sitting right now, I will just go to my uh, worn items tab and actually just teleport off of that. But my construction cape brings me to my house. I have an ornate pool in there and I also have a jewelry box. I have a dig site pendant and I have a, um, well, I have an amulet of glory in the jewelry box. So it all kind of uh, is consolidated in there. But this is really the biggest tab that I have or um, for all my teleports per se. So what I mean by the biggest tab, I meant to say all my teleports. So I have the construction uh, cape that kind of gets me anywhere. So I always take that wherever I go. It's, it gets me to the woodcutting guild for redwoods. It can get me to the GE. It's, it's a beautiful thing. If you guys don't have 99 construction, I 100% recommend you guys go ahead and do that. So, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the farming tab looks like. We also have some teleport tabs since I am level three. I can't utilize a lot of those teleports and the jewelry box doesn't necessarily get me anywhere. So I do use teleport tabs to Lumbridge, Varak, and Camelot as well. Uh, 
Uh, we also have, you know, our axe in here to cut down our Celestrius tree. Um, and we also have our darts in here because we actually take darts on our farm runs. And we have a battle staff collection because of the Celestrius tree. Um, we just try to, you know, kind of craft those or fletch those whenever possible. Um, not really too concerned. It's just more of kind of churning that money to get money back. What I'll basically do is sell these battle staffs and go buy more Celestrius trees. And then they kind of almost pay for themselves for the most part, or at least make these Celestrius a bit cheaper. So um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed my bank video. If you guys have any questions for me, please make sure to go ahead and comment below. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do drop a like. I'm really happy to show this to you. Uh, we'll be covering a bit more in my bank in some future videos. I have some really exciting plans that I'm, I'm just very excited about this account right now and very excited about RuneScape in general. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys do drop them below. But until next time, guys, this has been Russo. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.